What's the difference between do and make? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the rules of when you need to use either one. We'll talk about specific expressions that require either one. And at the end, I'm going to test your knowledge. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use do and make. Now, let me give you an example sentence. Last night, I mm the dishes and I mm dinner. Okay, in this case, what do we need? Do we need do? Do we need make? Hmm, put it in the comments below. What do you think we need? Well, first of all, you need to remember that regardless of which one you use, they're verbs, so you have to conjugate them according to your time reference. So my time reference is last night, so I know I'm talking in the past, so I need to conjugate my verbs in the past. Last night, I did the dishes and I made dinner. Did you get them right? Now, let's talk about the rules of when you use do and make. First of all, let me give you a tip. So remember this, if we're talking about an action in general, we use do. If we're talking about producing something, we use make. So that's a general tip you can follow, but just keep in mind, there are specific expressions that require one or the other. So you need to keep those in mind as well. So first let's talk about these general rules. Let's talk about when you use do. We use do with work, chores, and tasks. This is one I commonly see students confused because I hear a lot of students say, I made my homework, I made my homework. But you don't make homework, okay? You do homework, you do a job, you do chores, you do a task. We use the verb do. Now, we also use do with an unspecified activity. And you're probably very familiar with the question, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing right now? It's a general question. I'm not asking about a specific activity. We use do. What are you doing tonight? Now, we also use do a lot when we replace a verb if the meaning is clear. So in my original example, I said, last night I did the dishes. Do the dishes. But there's another verb that we can use. You can wash the dishes. Now, because the meaning is clear, I can replace the verb wash with do. That might be a little more of an advanced thing for you to understand, but just for now, remember this expression, you do the dishes. So you've already just added one natural expression to your vocabulary because a native English speaker, we're not really going to say wash the dishes. We say do the dishes. So now let's talk about make. Remember, we use make when you're producing something. So anything that was produced, designed, developed, or constructed, we could use make. For example, I could say this t-shirt was made in China. Now we also use make specifically with food, drinks, and meals. And that's why I said, last night I made dinner. Can you make me a snack? Can you make me a smoothie, a beverage? Can you make me a cup of coffee? We also use make when you produce an action or a reaction from someone. For example, I could watch a movie and I could say, oh wow, that movie made me, made me really sad. That movie made me really sad. It produced a reaction within me. 
Traffic makes me so angry. That's something that a lot of people say, right? Here's a good one. We use make with plans and decisions. So think of a plan could be, for example, making a dinner reservation. And with decision, you make a decision. So I could ask you, have you made a decision yet? Have you made a decision yet? Now finally, we use make when you produce sounds. <laughs> for example, I could say, my microphone made a really weird buzzing noise. Or I could say, my lights are making this really high-pitched noise. We can also use it with any sort of verbal sounds. For example, at the end of a presentation, I could say, I really like that comment you made about global warming. So you make a comment because that's a sound you produce. Now let's talk about some general expressions that use either do or make. Remember, expressions in English, you just have to memorize them. So just put these ones into your vocabulary, write them down, and make sure you understand if they use do or make. So our first one, you do someone a favor. So this is a very common expression. I could say, oh, I have a lot of homework to do. Remember, you do homework. Or I have a lot of chores to do. You do chores, you do work. I have a lot of chores to do. Can you do me a favor and make the dinner reservation? Hmm, so notice I use do and make in that sentence. Can you do me a favor and make the din dinner reservation? Because remember, we use make with plans and arrangements and decisions, but we're using do, do someone a favor. Think of that just as an expression, do someone a favor. So can you do me a favor? Hopefully you said yes. Now, I'm sure you're already familiar with this expression, but I'll share it anyway, and that's, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do for a living? But most of the time, we don't include for a living, and we simply say, what do you do? And of course, I'm asking you about your job, and we use do. Now, interestingly, we have another expression, which is make a living to make a living. Now, when you make a living by doing something, it means that's your primary source of income. So I could say, I make a living by doing YouTube videos. That's my primary source of income. That's how I make a living. So somebody could ask me, what do you do? I'm a YouTuber. Well, how do you make a living? Because they might be asking me, okay, but how do you make money? And of course I would say, I make a living by recording YouTube videos. That's how I make a living. Now, of course, you also make money. So you make a living, which is related to money, and then also you make money. So again, somebody could ask me, what do you do? I'm a YouTuber, but how do you make money? How do you make money on YouTube, right? That's always the mystery. People wanna know that. So just remember those two expressions, one of them uses do because it's a general category, but then specifically almost about producing, right? Thinking to our general category. You make money, you make a living. That's more about production. So we're using make. Now, another one that doesn't really fit into the category, but you can think of it as an expression, and that's make a mistake. You make a mistake, okay? So you don't do a mistake. Sometimes I hear that. You make a mistake. It's just an expression. So you could say, I was doing my homework or I was doing my taxes. That's another one where we're replacing the verb, which is probably file. I was filing my taxes, but we replace that verb with do. I was doing my taxes and I made a mistake. Or we could combine two makes. I was making dinner and I made a mistake. So just keep that in mind. A lot of the time you're gonna be mixing and matching in one sentence. 
I'll leave you with a positive expression. Think of this as an expression, and this one's with do. You do your best. Do your best. So if you say, Jennifer, I'm not sure if I can pass this quiz at the end of the video, I'm gonna say, just do your best. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, just do your best. So that's a nice word of encouragement, an expression of encouragement that you can use with someone if they're feeling a little apprehensive or tentative about doing something, you can say, ah, oh, just do your best. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, just do your best. So with that, let's get to the quiz. So I'm gonna share the quiz on the screen. You're going to have 10 questions to answer. I'll leave it up for a minute, so just pause the video, you'll need more time. And then after that minute, it will display the answers. So make sure you let us know in the comments how you did on the quiz. How many did you get right out of 10? Did you make any mistakes? And of course, just do your best. So now let's do the quiz. All right, so how did you do on the quiz? I'm really excited to find out, so make sure you leave it in the comments and let us know how many you got right out of 10 and which ones you got wrong or which ones you got right. Just tell us how you did. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. Now you know the difference between do and make. I'm sure you're gonna need to watch this video again because we reviewed a lot of information. So feel free to do that. And of course, subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new lesson. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.